Hey guys, today we're going to share with you Floyd Garrett's Muscle Car Museum in Sevierville, Tennessee. Now we taped this video a few years ago and never brought it out. John was going through his phone the other day and saw it. Our plan was to go back and refilm because we weren't happy with oh, the way we did like it. Because we, at that time, had not done a lot of um, museums and stuff, so we weren't sure about how to go about filming it. So we were going to go back, but unfortunately, on October 31st, 2021, the museum had closed down. And sadly to say, Floyd also passed away then. So like Bobby said, I saw it on the phone, I was going to delete it, and I thought, you know what? There might be some people that's never seen that museum, or people want to relive the memories of the place, because we really enjoyed going through there and seeing everything. So we decided, before I just delete it, I'll just bring it out. So if you hope you guys enjoy it. I mean, like I said, it's not our best, but it's still memories. A lot of nice cars were in there. John. Yeah, there was uh, about 90 cars. Uh, $8 million is what they were worth. It's definitely a great place to come. So are you ready, Bobby? I'm ready. Let's rock and roll. Let's rock and roll. All right, let's go in and check out some muscle cars. Wow, look, look at this place. Good. Yeah. A little gift shop in here. All of our shirts. Some license plates. Got some t shirts. Pretty neat. I like them. Pictures. Yeah, we got some clocks up there. Can't go in the museum without finding the king. Got Marilyn right next to him. And Elvis's idol, James Dean. Hey, the first car is a black magic Mopar. Check that thing out. That. You got old school and you got a, a Viper sitting right next to it. And that is pretty. That looks nice too. That 1970 Plymouth. Wow. It's got a 440 engine in it. Have a 1970 Challenger. And a 1971 Plymouth GTX. But it's not restored, but look how that thing looks. Look at that. What do you think of that car, Bobby? It looks really nice. Wow. Yeah. Wow. I like the 1969 Roadrunner. I had a 1968 Dodge Charger. So I like these kind of body styles. But the Vanishing Point 2 car that was used in the 20th Century Fox production. There it, is. there it is. It was used also in many of the high performance sequels. Film crew helicopter pilots complained about the inability to keep pace with it during the high speed runs. So this one's my favorite. It's a Plymouth GTX 1970 with original miles of 37,000 and it's unrestored. That's unbelievable. Check that out. Look at the inside. This thing don't even have a scratch on it. Wow. Well, found a car close to my heart. This is what I drove back when I was 18 years old. Except mine was black. 
wasn't in this kind of shape. A 1968 Dodge Charger RT. But this one has a Hemi in it. I didn't have the Hemi. Got 12,000 miles and it's unrestored. All original. Hey, Bobby, go get the owner and see if I can get the keys and take this thing out for a spin. Sure, he'd let you. Oh, yeah. We'll tell him we'll put them on YouTube. Why matter? I'm going to ask for the keys for the orange. All right. Here we have a 1979 Dodge Little Red Express unrestored. And a Galaxy Big Red 500 next to it. That engine. Go check out the sides of these cars. Would like to walk into this place back in the day. Got Elvis back there and James Dean. Got a little gas station in here. Look at the prices back in 1955. Yeah, gas was 19.9 cents per yeah. gallon. Tune up is 9.95. Oil changes at a dollar ninety. Dollar ninety-five. Wow. Fix change. the flat, 95 cents. And then wow. they also pumped your gas for you. I like the idea of pumping your your gas <laughs> yeah. when it's cold. Yeah. Yep, we all got spoiled back in those days. Okay, we have a Buick GNX. I remember when these came out. 1987. These were like one of the fastest cars on the road at that time. A 1940 Mercury convertible afterglow. Ten years to build this car. Couldn't drive this today on the pot with all the potholes around town. Oh, look how low that thing is. We have two 1971 Cudas. Almost look identical. One's a convertible and one's not. Like those? Those are pretty nice. Have another Plymouth Roadrunner, a 1969 with a 383. Look at that. These cars are almost all unrestored. Let's go check this out. 1969 Pontiac GTO, the Judge. I like this one too. I, I like the color of these cars that are orange. It looks they, really sharp. They stand out. We have a 1965 Chevelle. Now this one actually has the sticker still in it, so let's go up and see what this thing is worth. This even said that the guy that made this car's name was Fast Eddie, is what they refer to him as. Fast Eddie, I can see driving this. Okay, when this was bought, it's $3,752. What do you think it's worth today? John, I found the car for us when we go on vacation. This thing is huge. It's a 1955 Chrysler 300. You need to check out the trunk in this. We uh, always bring back so much stuff, it seems like, when we go on vacation. Look at that trunk space, John, for the wow. suitcases. We always like to come back with a few souvenirs. This would work out great it for It would. Us. That is one of the biggest trunks I've ever seen in a car. There are over 90 cars in this museum. This 
is a 1962 Pontiac Catalina. There was less than 200 of these made. Another Roadrunner, a 1969 Plymouth Roadrunner, A12. If you like Roadrunners, this is a place to come because there's a bunch of them in here. I remember these, the 1982 Camaro. Someone I used to know had one of these cars. This was the Pace Car Edition. 1957 Bel Air. Bobby likes this one. Nineteen sixty five Oldsmobile. A lot of chrome in there. A couple Camaros here. We have a nineteen sixty nine Z twenty eight and a rally sport over here. Well, you might have trouble outrunning this police car. That is a Camaro. That's a wild looking police car. Next to it's a 1970 Duster. Here's one of my favorite cars, a 1966 SS. Team 56 Buick. I have a hard time parallel parking those. 1970 Charger RT. This one won the 2001 Mopar Nationals Best in Show. The yellow one beside it's not half bad either. Let's go look at the side of this one. It even has a sunroof in it. 67 Ford Fairlane. Only has 12,000 original miles on it. Well, found a car that Bobby's going to buy me for my birthday. A 1967 Chevelle SS because it is for sale. This car is $62,000. Is this your favorite one? It might be. It's pretty nice. I'd say if it's a lot of good things were made in 1967, yeah. John. That was a great year. So you have really good taste. Oh, well, thanks. And why is that? Because that's the year I was born. All right. Okay, look at that engine. That is sharp, isn't it? Why don't we go up and see if uh, we can make some arrangements on this? All right, let's go check it out. The inside is mint condition also. 1978 Corvette pace car. As you go through this museum, they have a lot of cool little things set up around the side, like this garage set up like they're working on a car. Adds to it. Nicely done. I have a couple 1963 Corvettes. I remember these. These were one of the baddest things on the road when I was growing up. 1971 Challenger. And what's that behind it, Bobby? The 1947 Dodge Coupe. Man, that's nice. Look at that thing. Well, we see why the still is there. This was a moonshiner's car. That was 79 Trans Am. Camaro back there. Herman Lewis's car. Okay, we have two AM Exes. This one's a 1969. And this one is a 1970. 
1957 Thunderbird. With the tail ends of them. That is nice too. I mean, there's so many cars in here, Bobby, they're so nice. I know. Too many to choose from. Almost every one of them's unrestored, including this Trans Am up here. This Trans Am has 3,000 miles on it. Look at that decal. Beautiful. I remember these cars. Everybody wanted to have a Trans Am. Especially when Smoking the Bandit came out. I have Joe Lee Johnson's NASCAR. And a little cardboard cut out of Dale. The Intimidator. 1965 Sunbeam Tiger. I've never heard of one of those. Now this car is restored. It's a 1971 Plymouth Roadrunner. But it did have the original miles of 54,000. One Chevy and Paula. Bobby said she took her uh, driver's test in something like this. Pulled it right in. How many people remember those on the cars? Antenna. Well, we could take this car home too. This is a 55 Chevy on sale for $138,000. That's a showstopper though. LB GT 500. All right, we just came out of the Muscle Car Museum. What did you think, Bobby? I really liked it. This is something that we've always thought about doing, but just never had the time to do it when we've been down here. But I'm just amazed how long and wide those vehicles are, those older ones. and. I just can't imagine trying to park one of those in a parking space today, as small as they are. No, they're huge. It would be hard to, it'd be hard to drive one today, the way, especially the way people drive and how tight all the spaces are today. Uh -huh. But you need to come check this out because the guy said this place has been open for, I think, around 25 years. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Yeah, so until we meet again, J&B have left the building. <laughs>